UFC interim heavyweight champion Shane Carwin. How are you, my friend? Good. Doing good. Uh, been a long uh, couple days at the Expo. Got to meet a lot of fans, and uh, it was uh, crazy. How did you find that experience? Overwhelming? <laughs> it was good. You know, there's a lot of fans out there, and uh, that's what all that was for was for the fans. Was it a new level of excitement in the Shane Carwin world, though, with this upcoming championship unification? Uh, yeah, you know, it's awesome to meet fans and when they come out like that and to be a part of it. So, uh, you know, I'm getting focused on that fight. So I was training early morning and late nights. So, and then, then going there and signing, uh, you know, autographs and meeting a lot of fans. So I'm pretty tired and excited just to be able to relax now. Do you take time, even when you're out at the expo and things like that, to, to train a couple of times a day? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Morning and night, early morning, late night. How many hours a day are you training currently? Uh, you know, it, it varies uh, depending on how my body feels. It can be anywhere from, you know, maybe four to six hours. I would say that you're looking huger than ever, but I think that's obvious. What's your weight right now? Uh, I'm walking about uh, 285 right now. And how are you feeling? I mean, obviously Brock Lesnar's a big guy too. Do you feel that you're going to keep this weight for a little while and then drop down right before the fight, or you're going to carry it right up until the week before? You know, it'll probably come off uh, the day of and the week before. Uh, we did a cardio test today, and uh, I'm, where, I'm where I need to be. So, uh, you know, that weight will probably come off at the end of camp. Are you getting excited about the Brock fight, or is it just like another fight for you the way you're preparing? Uh, it's just like another fight, just preparing the same way, just trying to become a better fighter day by day and, and work on the things that I need to work on. And how do you separate yourself from all of the hype, all of the people chattering? Oh, that's easy. You know, I, I never listen to it, and... You know, I'm in this game because I, I love it and I have a passion for it, and it's that simple. Can Brock Lesnar take one of your punches? Uh, I don't think any man could take one of my punches if it hits right. If you were to predict how this fight was going to end, would you say another first-round knockout like you're known for? <laughs> a knockout. I don't know which round, but a knockout. I hope it's a bit of a war. Do you want it to go into the later rounds a little bit so you, you get to tell everyone, look, I can go four or five rounds if necessary? That would be nice. I could stop answering all these questions about later rounds and uh, my cardio. But your cardio is fine. Training up in Denver, you've got to have pretty pretty solid cardio, yes? Uh, yeah, you know, I train at 6,000 feet, and and that's uh, I think, makes a big uh, uh, factor for any fight. Final question about the Brock Lesnar matchup. Do you want it to be standing so that way you get that knockout shot, or do you want him to try to take the shot on you and go to the ground with him? Uh, you know, I could see it taking place both spots, but uh, I would love for him to try to stand and trade with me. Excellent. Shane Carman, thanks so much for talking to us here at MMA 30. Enjoy the fights tonight, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it.